Now back with us is our resident vet, Alex Melrose. Hi Alex. Hi. So we're going to talk about basic pet first aid today. Yeah. I'm glad to see you brought your furry friend yeah. in with us. Yeah, he's helping out. You. What do pets most commonly need first aid for at home? Yeah, well look, the most common things that we see that people bring animals in for is, is trauma. So they're going to have cuts, bites, things that are bleeding, um, things that require pressure, need some bandaging, need some pressure on it to stop the bleeding. <coughs> um, <laughs> Are you talking to your dinosaur again? Yeah. Talk to me, Alex. Uh, Talk to me. He'll be fine. Let's call him Bertie. He will be fine. He's okay, so they're bleeding or something, yeah. or they've been hit by a yeah. car or something exactly, like this. Exactly, yeah. So that's at the, obviously at the extreme end of the scale. They've been hit by a car, perhaps just outside the house. Yeah. I've actually had it happen to my pets, you know, so... I ran over my dog. Yeah. It was the most terrifying, awful thing in my life. Dog's fine, but it was awful, absolutely awful. So say your pet is bleeding, what do you need to do? Yeah, well, look, if, if it's gone to the extreme levels of um, running over your own... Pet, which yeah. actually does happen quite a bit, um, you can do CPR on animals. Okay, so yeah. so <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to remember that you want to close the mouth so that you're not just getting air ru running around in here, and you want to do mouth to nose. Okay. Okay. So you're sort of breathing pretty hard, trying to inflate the chest through the nostrils mm -hmm. with the mouth shut, and then. You hold your hands around the, the nostrils. It's you hard do, to take you seriously like when you're doing it on I, a dinosaur, I know, but I am I'm, trying to. I'm, I'm being serious. I'm being right. serious. So now. Round That's the right. Do you want to try? Yeah, so round the muzzle. Yep. yep. So you're going to close the muzzle. Yep. And then into mouth the... Mouth to nose. <sighs> yeah. Mouth to nose. <sighs> okay. Exactly. Got Fantastic. it. Got it. If you're watching the chest, you'll see the chest rise a little bit. That's letting you know that the air's getting through, there's no obstruction, yeah. and that also that you're not over-inflating. How many breaths should you do? Do a couple, and then 50... I don't want to break the table. Very, very hard, fast compressions on the chest. Okay. The bigger the animal the more force you're going to do. So if it's a, if it's a big dog, you're just going to put all your weight into it because you, otherwise you're not going to compress the chest enough. Do you need to be worried about breaking the ribs or anything? At that point, it's, it's a less of a problem for them than not getting their heart started again. Okay. So don't worry about that. In a small animal, sure, you're not going to go crazy on okay. a cat or something. So 50 of those and then back to breaths <clears throat> yep, again? Yep, And while you're doing that, ideally, people are helping you get in the car, you know, wrap the animal in a towel, lift it if it's large, Oh, or a blanket or something like yeah. that. Um, get it in the car, get moving, get going to your vet. Okay. Because you're going to need help. Yeah, you, well, you are going to need yeah. help. And yeah. how long should you do that CPR for? The whole time it takes you to get there. I mean, if, you, if you're doing CPR, for, we'll try for probably 15 or 20 minutes before we, before we say, hey, it's not, it hasn't worked. So I have had situations where we've resuscitated the animals after, you know, 10 minutes okay. or so. so. So just keep going until you get there and then get some professional okay, help. Okay, you know what, that's actually been very useful. And, um, I even, told you. Even though you brought a dinosaur, which has put us off slightly. Yeah. But what I do find also interesting is that essentially if your animal is in some serious pain or serious trouble, you have to get it transported to the vet as quickly as possible. Start moving. Get someone to ring the vet or you ring the vet and get there as soon as possible start so moving. you can start getting... Call the... on the way, someone else rings from the, from the car. Okay, you know? yeah. that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Hey, well, thank you so much for that, Alex. My um, pleasure. Enlightening, and thanks for bringing yeah. We're calling him Bertie in. And now to our pet of the week, which is not Bertie, it goes to Zeus. Look at Zeus. Oh, man. Oh, Zeus is very cute. If you want your pet to be up here next week, make sure that you post a pic on our Facebook page. Just go to the Cafe NZ on Facebook. Thank you so much for coming in, Alex. That was awesome. Thank you for bringing Bertie. Uh, and more information, we'll put that up onto our Cafe website as well, thecafe.co.nz.